we've done, I mean, it became this big fad a few months back of these loop giveaways and giving away like these big prizes, like a thousand dollars or a MacBook. And they'd get all these brands to come in and buy into this. And we'd done a couple because you got so many followers, like right off the bat, it was like 3000 followers. I mean, who doesn't want cash or a MacBook? But I mean, what percentage of those people really like your product and are really going to stick around? So then we'd notice like after the giveaway ended, it would just take a major drop. And it seems like the ones that did stay around usually aren't engaging. They're not liking, they're not commenting. And so I just felt like it wasn't worth it. It was more worth it to do a giveaway with someone who has your same aesthetic um, in your same market, in, in your same target market, I guess I should say, and do those small giveaways with them. And those people are going to be um, your number one supporters. All right, then, so, sorry, I just wanted, yeah, you're, you're talking about running a giveaway and making sure mm -hmm. that you're only getting the opt-ins, the followers that are going to be interested in ultimately being a customer. These guys are, you know, in your target market, they're potential customers at this point, they're, they're leads for you. Um, how, how do you make sure that you are reaching only that, you know, that hot, those hot um, leads? Well, it used to kind of ask, like, where do you start? And I think, obviously, most importantly, is you have to know your target market. So you find those people, what your style is, whether it's, like, hipster or people who, like, we do kids' clothes. So ours is, like, super classic, like, heirloom, and it's high-end. So we look for people who are wearing those things, who are these big bloggers and influencers that are wearing these kinds of clothes. And... We've noticed it to be beneficial to reach out to influencers and have them run giveaways for us. So that's been one way that we've liked to do. So some kind of big blogger who shares our style and shares our aesthetic gets a picture and usually it's just something simple like only our brand involved or maybe like up to five brands. So the people entering don't have to follow like 50 brands to enter the giveaway. It's just a few. So it's super easy on the customer's end. and they just have to usually tag friends in the comments. So entering super simple. There's no reposting, nothing like that. It's just simple tagging. And we've noticed that, that to be most effective. And one other giveaway style that we like to do for not using an influencer or a blogger um, was we find brands who also have similar target markets as us. And we don't like to clutter our Instagram feed with like, a picture that says giveaway across it because it just kind of looks spammy and it's just kind of not our style. So we've had some like boards that we bought at Home Depot and we painted them and we do kind of a flat lay style picture. So we have the brand who's doing the giveaway with us. They send us their product and then we get like a flat lay picture with our product next to their product and it just looks really nice and aesthetically pleasing on our feed. And we've noticed a really good response with those kinds of giveaways too. All right. Now, there's a few things that I wanted to, to ask you about. But uh, you said that getting people to just um, tag themselves in or even tag in their friends into mm -hmm. uh, the post uh, is the most effective. Can you yeah. go into why and how that works? Yeah. So you can kind of go on our Instagram if you want to see like an example. But um, it just says something like super easy to enter. All you have to do is like this post. And then number two, you'd say tag friends. Each friend that you tag is a entry. And so the more friends you tag, the more entries you get. And then I think that makes the engagement on the post super high. So more people are seeing it in their explore page and it just kind of becomes a bigger deal, especially if it's like a pretty big blogger doing it. Um, yeah, I think that helps. All right, so when, you, when you're saying it's a big blogger doing it, is this happening on, on your account or, or uh, and the blogger's account? Uh, and how's that working? Um, we do both. So we usually post at the same time. So have the blogger put, we'll like pick a time of day. Sometimes you can even stagger it so you can hit audience at night, audience in the morning. Um, it just kind of is preference. You can ask the blogger even how they like to do them in the past because bloggers are usually pretty... Um, picky with the way that their look their feed feels so a lot of times we send them the product and they, they get the photo um, so it fits with their feed 
so. All right. All right. That's, yeah, because Instagram is one of those things that everyone has their own style and uh, mm-hmm. you have to make sure that you, you fit in with that. Uh, so I understand, I understand that. Now, if, if you're both posting at the same time, you kind of mentioned like what you should kind of write in, in, the, in the caption there yes. uh, with the instruction. With the exact same caption, yeah. Yep. Uh, are you, is the blogger tagging in, you know, your account and, and vice versa as well? Yes. Sorry, I forgot that part. Um, so where it says how to enter, I guess number one would be follow. It would say the blogger and follow the brand. So Finn and Vince. And then number two would be like this post. Number three is tag your friends. So it's always a requirement to follow both the brand and the influencer. Or if you're doing it with brands, you list all the brands of who the entries need to follow. 